or just some outdoor spaces smaller. Okay. Um, yeah, this is going to be grass. So what this is right here is this actually ends up being a walkway that goes all the way up and goes up to the upstairs deck. Okay. Over here, this this is actually the outdoor space for this unit, uh -huh. and this turns into a big like 16 by 16 uh, bluestone patio. Okay. Um, and you'll see, what we're going to do is we're going to go through what would be the less formal entrance. Okay. So you can kind of see it. And we'll go upstairs, downstairs, and we'll start walking through all the products. All right, great. So in theory, well, not in theory, for sure, there's going to be a walkway here that's going to be a poured concrete stamped mm -hmm. walkway. And then there's going to be a bluestone walkway that goes into this front door, okay. which is going to be the more formal entrance. Okay. Um, but their tenants or whoever's living here will rarely use this. And again, everything is going to be heated uh, underground. Everything, any hardscape you see is going to be yeah. heated except for the patios in the back of these units. Right. But everything else is heated. Okay. Five garage spaces. Five underground garage spaces, one heated per unit. <laughs> So uh, these are custom cabinets. So like here's like, I was talking about like overbuilding, right? So my cabinets that I use, they're three quarter inch hardware. <coughs> Most cabinets are half inch, okay. you know? And these are custom specifically made for these milled here for everything. Okay. So you've got the six burner Wolf, you've got the 36 inch Sub Z. We're gonna have a under counter uh, Sub Zero um, or Wolf Micro. This is the real deal. Uh, this would be if you, and then you got the peninsula here for eating, but then mm -hmm. if you wanted to have a dining room table, you could put a dining room table here. We yeah. wire for chandelier. I don't provide chandeliers just because it's kind of specific sure. in taste. Yeah. Uh, coat closet. Another thing that I do that nobody, nobody does mm -hmm. is I put a home automation system in. Okay. So this unit will have a touch panel on the wall. And I can show you, I actually have it in my house randomly, okay. but it's called Control 4. Okay. And that'll run all your lights, yeah. that'll run all Which your one? televisions, that'll run your heating, your security, wow. it syncs to your phone, mm -hmm. so it does everything. Okay. And you can see I've got no thermostats on the walls because that controls everything. Got it. And then I wire the house on top of that for surround sound, for speakers in every bedroom. Mm -hmm. So if you want to upgrade the system, you can, yeah. but I always provide them a set of speakers. So they'll get a set of ambient speakers in the kitchen. Okay. And then if they wanted to set up a surround sound in this living space, all the wires are already buried. But I dedicate, <clears throat> I dedicate a space to the television mm -hmm. and then that gets hidden and run downstairs to the awesome. cable box that's in the closet. Sure. So right. it's very clean and very elegant. Existing structure? This was an existing structure. Right. I spent over $25,000 leaving these beams exposed. And you'll see them upstairs and how cool they are. Yeah, got it. Really cool. Okay. It's custom made handrail. You're not mm -hmm. going to see anything like this. Mm -hmm. I specifically left it so you can actually see the knobs. Okay. And after we stain them, you'll yeah, see they look them. Nice. Yeah, they'll look really cool. And this we left on, but I may take off after we sell. If somebody wants me to take it off, okay. I will. Sure. So, my heating system, I use a Fort Haas. Force hot and dry heating system, okay. but I throw in humidification, dehumidification, and fresh air makeup. Okay. So these things are fully regulated. Okay. This is a shared bathroom, Carrera mm -hmm. Marlowe all the way across. Heated floors in every single bathroom. Okay. And that connects to the uh, control floor system as well. Okay. So in the morning, if you want to wake up and set up from bed, you sure. set up from bed. This unit, this is the master. Okay. And you can see this is one of the reasons why we left these beams higher. Okay. Wake up and do some pull ups. <laughs> You've got a generous walk-in closet, mm -hmm. and I put in a full closet system. So you will. You'll yeah, blow them out. Absolutely. Okay. All right. That's great. And then you've got a master bath. This is a really cool what I do, and it's more prominent in the other units because the lights are on. Okay. But this is porcelain slab, mm. right? So there's no seams on the wall at all. And the grains, if you look at it, are bookmarked and bookmatched and go all the way across the walls in every corner, even these little tiny ones. Yeah, got it. You got a lot of detail here. Yeah. And this this carries down onto the floor and carries the floor all the way through. Huh? I use Hans Grohe um, plumbing fixtures. Yeah, fixtures, yeah. So, I mean. Okay. It's nice, yeah. I spend like my plumbing fixtures in this unit alone were $8,000. Got it. You got a little living closet, you've got your second bedroom.
pretty cool, right? Yeah, very cool. And then the third bedroom. Two zones, one zone, one zone. Three zones. Three zones. Yeah, every floor has got its own zone. And again, all the bathrooms have eight floors. So this is a real three-family home. Four-inch white American, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and like stupid little details that I do, you know, I put the outlets in the baseboards instead of putting them on the wall. It's that's just nice. a cleaner look. Sure, that's nice. You know, yeah. Just little stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's good. It, it just adds a little bit of value. Sure. Yeah. So powder room, you got a wall sink, mm -hmm. a toilet, mm -hmm. and I always do a really nice pendant from the ceiling to light it up. Okay. We come down to the lower level. All the units have mud rooms. Okay. And this, by the way, is the lowest basement ceiling height okay. in all the units. All the other units have nine foot ceiling heights in the lower level. Got it. So you got a full closet. Yeah. You've got this is just like um, yeah utility room. Utility room. Yeah. This is where all your control for stuff comes to. And then again, this all gets closeted out. Right. And this gets closeted out as well. Okay. These are covered up, but uh -huh. this sheds so much light down here. You Got it. Leave. Yeah, it will. So this we use uh, an engineered hardwood in the basement because it's a basement. Um, okay. The thought process is you're going to come in from the garage. Mm -hmm. You have a full light. Your control for lighting systems here. So you have four buttons here, all on, all okay. off. Yeah. You can program it to evening, whatever you want. Yeah. But also the control for system allows you when you type your code, mm -hmm. you can have all the lights turn off over 40 seconds. Okay. Built-in cubbies here for a mudroom mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. You've got a full laundry room, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have a folding station. Okay. And then you got another full. Okay. Okay. So this is my traditional product. Okay. Very different than what we're about to go see, but I'll take it all five units, but okay. I want you to first sort of see this, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to show you something totally different. All right. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. So all of these are heated down here. All the walkway are heated. Okay. All of these stairwells are heated. Okay. This is emergency egress yep. from the garage. Okay. So this tenant will park in this space, mm -hmm. and they'll walk into their unit right here. Got it. This we're not encouraging any of the guests to use or any of the mm -hmm. residents to use, mm -hmm. but who knows if they right. can use it. Sure. Okay. All right, so this unit that we were just in will park their car here and go in here. Okay. <clears throat> As people live here, they'll pull into the garage and there's three spots, a spot, and a spot. So one park. So three, four, five. Exactly. Five. Okay. For this unit that we're about to go see now, mm -hmm. this tenant's going to park, or the owner is going to park in the middle of the parking spot and walk in. Okay. So these are this product is a totally different product. This is three bed, three and a half baths. Okay. What we do in all of our basements, the lower levels, is we set them up. If they want to add a fourth bedroom, all you have to do is just wall this off. Yeah. And then you've got a fourth bedroom. Got it. You've got a full bathroom there with a tub. Okay. I always put tubs in the basements for dogs or whatever. Yeah, great. But I want to show you, it's kind of hard to see, and you'll see you'll see it better, but like, these are like little details that I do. Yeah, what is that? Excuse mm -hmm. me for fitting, but <laughs> this is porcelain tile, but this is a gunmetal tile. Okay. Right, so this the, these units are very modern, very European. Right. You'll walk in, they are heated floors underneath here. Right. You walk into a row of Was that heated down there too? What? The, the, the that floor? one's not. Okay. This one this is. One is. Okay. So you walk into a row of cubbies, mm -hmm. and then look how bright it is here. You've got yeah. nine foot ceilings, you've got fresh light coming into your own space. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Uh, you don't get this. Right. Okay. So this unit, you have three, <coughs> three inch oak tread, so they're mm -hmm. gonna be stacked like this. Okay. And then every third tread, you have a light on it. Right. So at nighttime, for night light or something, you put it up. Okay. The, this unit's very, very open concept, very okay. bright. You walk up the set of stairs, mm -hmm. and then you've got your outdoor patio. Okay. This guy is gonna get a patio right here. Okay. And it's gonna be like 10 by 16. Okay. 
And then these two units will have a row of bushes that separate, mm -hmm. so everybody has their own outdoor space. Got it. This is 20 feet back here. Okay. I mean, this is really generous, nice space in East Cambridge. Yeah. Okay. See you coming. So again, I've got custom three quarter inch cabinets. Mm -hmm. Again, different style, right? Flat, glossy cabinets. Yeah. A cool thing that we did here is when we custom customized these doors, mm -hmm. I had them extra long. Okay. So you don't need any hardware. So just a really clean, slick look. Nice. Okay. Long, slow, close hardware. Again, mm -hmm. Wolf Sub Zero appliances. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're just speaker holes. Yeah. Again, control floor system. Look how big it is. Yeah. Like the window. Are, this is the Gelman brand window, okay. but these windows and these windows were specifically custom made for me in this unit. Okay. Just these two windows right here are fifteen thousand dollars. Sure. Right. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. Adds so much light and so. Okay. Great. Okay. Powder room. Yeah. So these, this unit and this unit have a similar feel. The difference is, is that we favor the bedroom sizes upstairs, mm -hmm. so they share one bedroom, or share one bathroom, excuse me, where the units up over there mm -hmm. have offices. I see. And you'll see as we walk through. Okay. <clears throat> What's the square footage in here? This unit is about 1,900 feet. That included the basement. Yeah. Including the lower leg. Yeah. So you can see sort of, we were talking a little bit about the HVAC system. Mm -hmm. You can see sort of what, what I do here. So we've got forced hot air, and then the next thing that's going to come in is you're going to have a humidifier and then a fresh air unit. We do a lot in a little bit of space. Yeah. And there's your four separate zones, one, two, three, four in this unit. Right. Okay. So every floor has got its own thermostat. All right. So this is full-size bedroom. You've got a really generous closet for yeah. this size bedroom. Yeah, and again, we built out. Totally yeah. built out. And I have all, the, if there's somebody that's really interested, I have all the specs and everything sure. else on. Yeah. Floating vanity. So here's something different that I do that nobody else does, is I light the vanity underneath. Okay. So at nighttime, yeah. it's a little nightlight. Yeah, sure, it'd be nice. Okay. And again, heated floors and, Great. you know, like custom style touches like this, mm -hmm. you know, it has a little bit of texture. Yeah. This is your second guest room. Okay. This is generous with a huge walk-in closet. Okay. So over there, we do four-inch recess. In that first unit we're in, mm -hmm. four-inch recess lights. Yeah. Over here, these are three-inch recess lights. Okay. So more of them, you know, it's more modern. Sure. Okay. And then over here, we did stack full laundry up on the second level. Okay. And then you go up. I utilize the, the landings or the stairs a lot. You'll see that theme throughout my projects. Okay. But what we did is we put the door here. Mm -hmm. So when you come up here, you walk into like this. Open space. Huge open space. So here's your master. Take a look at this deal. That's nice. Changing up Kindle Square over there. Yeah. Okay. So you've got your master. Again, you've got this is this closet provides when it's done. You've got over 14 feet of hanging space. Okay. Which is a lot. I mean, yeah, you know, it's a lot. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And everything has jam switches. So when you open these up, the lights turn on. Got it. Okay. You can see the slab a little better in this product. So you've got the marble, uh, marble, the porcelain slab that go all the way across the wall, uh -huh. and then you've got the floors that go all the way. Got it. And again, you can see like even these little seams right here. Yeah. Yeah, they all match up. It all matches up. Got it. And again, I've got the wall hung vanity, and I downlight it, right. and then I do a full mirror all the way up, and I mount the lights on the mirror. Uh -huh. So when you're looking, brushing your teeth, you actually see that. <laughs> Kind of cool. I yeah. Mean, I, yeah, that's cool. I try to go out of my way and yeah. look outside the box. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's different. For sure. And again, like, you hang your TV here, you yeah. put a little dresser underneath, yeah. your bed walls here, and then if you want to put an arm on it, you can. Right. And then my automation company comes out and they spend three hours mm. per tenant tuning up the system. Right. You know, if they want to add stuff and upgrade it, they can, sure. or if they just want to put in there and 
night light, their lighting scenes, they yeah. just do that for them. Okay. And again, speakers throughout. Yep. Yeah. I think this might be a little too fancy for a lot of tenants. <laughs> you, know, you know, we kind of went back and forth on it. We were trying to figure out... I, with everything going on in Kendall, and with the explosion in East Cambridge, this is a product that people are looking for. And I feel like we've had so much positive feedback on this. Uh, and again, add the whole So this will be your guest entrance. Okay. Your guests will walk in. This whole thing is heated. Okay. So we've got a combination of AstroTurf mm -hmm. and salt and pepper granite here. Okay. So this is AstroTurf here. Mm -hmm. This is granite. Mm -hmm. And then the AstroTurf kind of wraps around here. Mm -hmm. The walkway comes this way. The stairs coming up. And the granite kind of goes throughout with AstroTurf. Okay. Throughout. Got it. So this is a similar layout, and we can see all of them. Yeah. You can see it. Mirror image, more or less? Not really. Okay. It's a little darker in here, darker cabinets. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's just a sun angle. Though. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. So this is the same style cabinets that we did, yeah. but a different style, you know, a different sure. style. Yeah. Wolf and Sub Z, I panel them all the way throughout. Mm -hmm. The difference between this unit and the unit that we're just in is they both have ensuite bathrooms because there's no lower level. I see. Oh, this, this one has no, no, no this lower level. This one has no lower level. We'll go out that way. I'll show okay. You. Okay. Um, but this unit has the most generous outdoor space. I see. A little bit wider. Way a lot, by like 15 feet. Okay. I do want to. We can go all the way up. You know, we can see that climb, but I want you to see the second level. Yeah. Are uh, you gonna get up there? Uh, we will be going up in a second. Yeah. We'll slap those back on real quick. So, this side's got a tub. Okay. Yep. Yep. So what happens on this side is that this bedroom shrinks down a little bit. Okay. But you get an ensuite bath. Got it. And this side gets a tub. Okay. Uh, a shower, excuse me. A shower. Okay. All right. Again, heated floors. Do you want to go upstairs and see that? Um, uh, just because sure. you want to go upstairs because nothing's nailed. Sure. Just for hair, might as well. So what I do is I match the glass on the outside, mm -hmm. and then they use the inside as a shelf. Okay. All right, nice. And then this side looks out this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have 16 trees on this property that we're putting on. Great. Right. I tore down four. Different architecture here. Yeah. But a little different architectural. Wait till different you see there. this unit. This is that that unit is very special. Yeah. For me personally, that's very European. These, these are all gonna finish up European yeah. and modern. Yeah. Uh, for me personally, I like that unit the best, but that's just me. The one in front. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got kids, so I see. <laughs> I just sold a 93 Third actually to some clients relocated. 93 Third, that was a single family over by the courthouse. Oh, sure. I just closed. How That's much did that go for? Uh, two million. How many square feet was it? Uh, that was about 3,000. We actually had an ancillary unit down below. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to take this out. I want to take it down below and Okay. This you just come straight I in. see. Okay, this is the garage shop. Okay. 
to all your, your boiler and so forth for mm -hmm. like snow melt all over mm -hmm. your sprint on system and all of that. Great. Only the garage is sprint on. Nothing else needs to sprint on. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll go into this unit now. Okay. And again, for an investment, for investors, only the garage is sprinkler. The city didn't require the rest of the units, huh? No, because these are all considered separate units. Uh -huh. So again, in the basement here, yeah. for an investment, if somebody's going to take this and rent this, mm -hmm. you put up a wall right here, and then you have a fourth bedroom back here. Got it. And you increase your rent. You can get it up to, I bet you can get it up to 8,200. Hmm. Same kind of flooring as um, you were describing over there, the... Yeah, so in the basement, I always use a, uh, an engineered hardwood floor, yeah. just because it's, it's yeah, basement, it's basement space. Yeah. But even so, I mean, the, you've got great, great natural light, and it feels really great. Um, basement floor heated as well, or? The slab is not heated, no. But that one over there was, right, the first one? Just, yeah. just on the entry. I see, just entryway, okay. Yes, yeah, just on the entry. Okay. So in all the units, yeah. In just all the units, okay. yeah. And then you got a full bath here. Yeah. With a shower. Okay. I always use noggin and tankless. Mm-hmm, right. So this unit is really special, and you see as we go up, but every third light is, is is on um, every third tread is lit. And then I also have a big picture that goes down the middle of the stairwell. Okay. That you see from the street from the windows, it lights up. Okay. Really, really good. You'll see that to go up. All right. The picture's not in yet, but you'll get what I'm saying. Yeah. So this is the smallest of the units with basements. Okay. This unit finishes out at like 1,700 feet. Huh. Okay. Okay. Um, the unit that we were just in finishes mm -hmm. off about like 1500. I see. Okay. 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 So you've got a galley style kitchen, mm -hmm. dining space. This guy has a very generous backyard as well. It goes from here around to the corner to over here. Okay. And this is the biggest uh, patio for everybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, powder room. Mm -hmm. These three units have wall hung toilets in the powder room. Okay. So you can see as we're walking up, there's a lot of natural light that comes through the stairwell. Yep. And if you look up, I'm a little scared of height, but if you look up, there's going to be a light fixture that comes all the way down oh, on see. each level. Oh, really? okay. And you'll see it like. Yeah. In the back three, it will be ready January, mid January. Got it. Yeah, you'll be done soon. So, this is a different style. Same porcelain slab, but you can see here we did the white with the brown accents. Okay. And again, I downlight it versus uplight, you know. Got it. And, and you can see we did like the wood tiles yep. in here. Yep. Got it. Heated floors. Okay. And you end up with a really generous closet in here. So, you know, nice. and then you've got the um, patio too. Right. Okay. And that's the same sort of tennis club you had saw originally. Yep. So you got your bed wall here, your television goes there. Again, this is totally tricked out with control for home automation systems. Yeah. You can control your Alexa with it. You connect your Alexa, you can take turn lights on sure. or lights turn on. Yep. Yep. Yeah, very high. So same kind of railing that you had in the first one with the... Uh, no, no. no. So these three are actually um, welded stainless, like black stainless steel. Okay. And there's just that one. 
posts with just metal rods. Oh, right. yeah. Rich the same look as outside on. It's cool that you can see all the way down. It really makes it feel open. Yeah. That's the same look that you have outside here on the mezzanine deck. Okay. But then everything on the front is all black iron. Okay. So it's sort of we're trying to contrast. So the height here is probably what? Nine. They're nine feet all the way across. Yeah. Between nine and ten. Yeah. They actually differ, believe it or not, per unit. Okay. Um, this is um this is gonna be um So this we haven't decided how we're gonna be but this all right here is all African and it's heated too, so it's gonna melt away. So even in the winter, it's going to look green. And it's not astroturf like you think. It actually looks like grass. It's beautiful. You would never know. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Even, it even it feels like it. Yeah, I've seen that stuff, yeah. If you want, do you want to walk the backyard? Um, no, 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 it's okay. I think it's, I think it's fine. I can just uh, okay. do this. Yeah. All right. You. Exteriors are all, um, is it hardy plank or some sort of similar kind of? This is, uh, it's all burrell. Burrell. So it's actually, hardy plank is a good product. We use that in certain applications. Yeah. So this is actually a step up. Yeah. This is a little nicer. Okay. And this stuff right here, what is this here? This is metal siding. Okay. Huh. This is insulated metal siding. Oh, okay. I try to create a couple different layers on these three buildings. Yeah. You know, so you've got, you've got the clapboard, you've got the metal siding, uh -huh. and then you've got the ship. Got it. I mean, obviously, obviously this won't corrode. I mean, it, no, no, but, no, yeah. no, no, it doesn't corrode at all. <laughs> yeah. No, this is maintenance free. There's yeah. literally nothing needs Good. to be done here. Okay. Um, there's a little stairway here. We can go here and then I'll show you that unit. Okay. <laughs> this, this is, this is like one of those start to silly things. Right. right here we go. Super traditional. Mm -hmm, yep. We've got modern, modern yeah. European, mm -hmm. and now we're going to like traditional industrial. Okay. Traditional industrial. Okay. <coughs> yeah. And again, that's your formal entrance. Yeah. or whatever you would go down this way okay. and most of the time you're going to be coming in through the green way uh -huh. yeah, it's huge was this an existing structure here too before these two were existing structures we actually took them and we lifted them up off the foundation mm -hmm. on jacks we've rebuilt the entire basements the all the entertaining walls everything and then put them back down um, we took all, I mean, there's nothing here original at all. Okay. Except for maybe the exterior sheathing, yeah. but then we triple wrap that. So okay. Just for historic purposes. Okay. I kind of like the personality and the feeling of, of these older buildings. Uh -huh. to be honest with you. Any perimeter drainage? Additional? Oh, there's so much drainage here. Yeah. Okay. So we actually had to come in. We've got a drainage system on the back, mm -hmm. on each of the sides, under the driveway. Yeah. Uh, and then there's another well. Um, in front of that, see that, that window? Yeah. There's another well that goes there. Okay. And it all gets tied to the street. Got it. There's a ton of drainage here. This will never flood or back up. Got it. Um, another thing that we do, and I do this on purpose, and everybody says it's the wrong move, but I really like the look. I actually lower the cabinets on purpose, mm -hmm. and I up like them. So it just adds, I up and down like them. Yeah. Got it's it. not, uh, it's a smaller kitchen, mm -hmm. so I don't think it does any <coughs> just to bring the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. Sure. I'd rather add that detail in that touch. Sure. Okay. Square, on them. square footage in this unit? Uh, about 1,800 feet. Okay. So like I bury the thermostat, mm -hmm. and then I put then I put a sensor on the wall. Okay. So you don't see anything. Okay. But it's set it and forget it. So that will monitor your humidification, dehumidification, your fresh air, yeah. and then automatically adjust it to where it needs to be. So okay. in the middle of the winter time, it's running 35% humidity, mm. and in the summer, it's running you know 45. Right. Right. Okay. No, check that. In the winter, it's running 45. So it stays consistent all the way through. Okay. 
And again, the touch panel goes on the wall here. Yep. And there's several locations buried in the wall, so if somebody really wanted to have a touch panel in their bedroom and in the basement, they could do that and they just upgrade themselves. Okay, great. So you can see things compared to that unit and this unit, things are a little bit more angular, mm -hmm. just tends to be a little bit more, mm -hmm. a little bit more industrial. Okay. All the landings have wall lights. Okay. You walk up to the master. Mm -hmm. Your bed wall goes here. Mm -hmm. Television goes there. Mm -hmm. And then again, you have the same porcelain slab all the way across. Mm -hmm. Rain heads in every master shower. Okay. Handhelds in every master shower. And I also do thermostatic valves okay. so they can run both the handheld and the shower at the same time. Okay. Or yeah. I find women like to run the, the handhelds. <laughs> the okay. Got it. That's your survey. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> it's that's okay. Yeah, laundry. Uh, laundry room. Yeah. This is your second bedroom. And then a uh, full bathroom, honestly. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit narrow, so you have to put the bed here, I guess. This, this is a tighter bedroom. A tight. we, we were saying that people would either put a bed here yeah. and walk around mm -hmm. or end up with a bed somewhere right here. You know, this is a great kids room. Yeah. This is a great guest room, yeah. office. There's a third bedroom in the lower level. Okay. Separation, a little bit of privacy. Okay. Yeah, that's different. I use every inch of these you buildings. You did, yeah. Every inch. Turn on the light for you. That's right. Yeah, no worries. So you've got a basement here, same thing, engineered wood. Yeah, we're doing the engineered hardwood floor in here. Okay. Um, this is an additional living space. We set up for a television if you want to do a little media room down here, mm -hmm. you can. It's already wired for surround mm -hmm. sound, yeah. if you want to do that. Yeah. You've got all your mechanicals in here, which everybody was happy about. Mm -hmm. They actually have space to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a full bath full here. Bath. It's got shower, yeah. Okay. Your third bedroom is here. Uh-huh, I see. I mean, look how bright it is yeah. here from the lower level. Yeah, very bright. <coughs> So the same kind of window wells that were closed up over there on the other side. It's exactly kind of the same thing. Yeah. Those are two individual. This is just one big one. Right. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And then you end up with a really generous bedroom. room. And this gets outfitted. I don't do cubbies, but it gets outfitted with a bench. And then we put hooks up. Because I find like cubbies mm -hmm. just tend to like just mm -hmm. close in the space. Sure. Um, okay. But if somebody says, hey, I really want to have the separators out, I will. Yeah, it. sure. You know, and that will wrap around here. Got it. Okay. That's that's my property. Got it. Very Thank nice. You, what was in the so you had these two existing structures? What was in the back before? Was just all open? This uh, concrete. Basically, a big parking lot. Yeah, I think I think right. back in the day mm -hmm. they used to rent parking spots. Yeah, and, they could probably fit twelve cars. Mm. Yeah, as years pass, I think they kind of let the property go a little bit. It was actually technically two separate lots. Okay. And we were able to combine them. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're huge lots. Okay. All right. I will um, 